Hello and welcome to another Overlord Law video and today we are going to take a look at some cut content, a piece of dialogue that happened during the tense meeting with the black scripture, or rather right before it. But before we're going to take a closer look at all of this, let's take a closer look at my patrons and thank them for supporting this channel, as well as all users of the YouTube thanks function who made one-time donations. Also please check out my fantasy channel, it's linked down in the description. Now with all of that said, after Lachius and the rest of Blue Roses entered the room with Uncle Azut and the hookers in them, Evil Eye quickly sent them out, while the twin assassins applauded Evil Eye for the quick thinking. Now this was way better explained in the books, see, the location where two Adam and Tide ranked adventurer teams were meeting was rather shady and Blue Roses suspected foul play, so they were very cautious and Evil Eye feared that the two girls were not as much interested in the man Azut as in the adamantite ranked adventurer, his suit, and perhaps how to stop him. In other words, Evil Eye feared an attempt on their lives and that of Azut Eindra, or the leaking of any relevant information to the outside. And here and Tina the twin assassins added during the talk with Gargeran and Evil Eye that both twins were also trained in these arts, meaning that they know about the danger that the two girls could pose, and meaning that they could also captivate men, which as a pair of young blonde twins isn't really that remarkable, but they would do so in such a way that for example a middle-aged, boarding captain of a guard would really believe that the two are interested in him and not in the keys and doors he's guarding or the documents in his chamber. And while Tia and Tina explained this, they also remarked that Gargeran wouldn't really get how any of this works, since she's more the direct type of person. And while it is a bit fanservice-y to imagine that two twins would allure men to kill them, it really illustrates that the Blue Roses suspected that something was very, very wrong. And therefore removing two potential dangerous spies or assassins was really good and quick thinking of Evil Eye. But sadly, that piece of cut content wasn't the only one, as far more important pieces of dialogue regarding Azud Eindra and the Black Scripture went totally missing. But that's something that we can discuss another time. For today, I say thank you very much for watching and special thanks to all of my patrons for supporting this channel. Anyway, have a nice day and I hope to see you all soon under my next video.